Lesson 7 is about magnitude, basically how big or how small something is. So in Lesson 7, we start out by talking about powers of 10. And it's very similar to place value. If I have, I'll put 10 to the 0 power in the middle. And then I can increase each power of 10 by 1. Increase each exponent by one. We can use what we've learned about exponents and exponent rules to figure out what each of these numbers mean. So 10 to the zero power, we can figure out, is one, because anything to the zero power is one. And 10 to the first power is just 10, because it's just one, one copy of itself. And 10 squared would be 10 times 10, which is 100. And then, remember, we just, when we're going to the right, we just multiply by one more copy of whatever our base is. So 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100, and 100 times 10 is 1,000. And the pattern that we see arise is that the number of zeros is the same as the exponent when you're dealing with 10s. And just like class from the other day, when you go to the left, you divide by 10. So 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. 100 divided by 10 is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1 divided by 10 is 1 tenth. And 1 tenth divided by 10 is 1 one hundredth. And these negative exponents can also be written as um, the reciprocals and making the powers positive. So my little saying, cross the line and flip the sign. We're flipping it out one, the one on top and the ten on the bottom, and then we're making that one exponent positive. So with the two, we make the two positive. That's the basis of our understanding. If we have that down, magnitude will make sense. So let's do some problems like what are on the exit ticket. If we have a number m, I'm saying m because it's close to magnitude, and it's, um, let's make it, one hundred seventy nine thousand six hundred forty three and twenty three hundredths. And we want to find the smallest power of 10 that's going to be bigger than our number. So we're going to ignore the decimals for a minute, and we notice that this number goes out to the hundred thousandths place. And that's when we want to figure out if I write a power of 10, I want it to be bigger. I'm going to count the number of digits in my number, so I have six digits, and I'm going to write 10 to the sixth. Let's figure out what that is. It's one with six zeros after it, which is a million. And that is definitely bigger than our number. Now, is it the smallest power of 10 that's bigger than the number? Well, let's try the one right underneath it, 10 to the fifth. That's one with five zeros. And if you notice, that's 100,000. And 100,000 does not exceed our number m. So the smallest power of 10, which will exceed our power, the smallest power of 10, which will exceed our number m, is 10 to the sixth power. Now there's another example where a student claims that 0 0.07 is bigger than 0 0.1. And their argument, remember this is what the student is saying, their argument is that because there's a 1, it must be smaller than 0 0.07. Now we already know that this is untrue based on our previous study of place values. We know that 7 hundredths is smaller than 1 
10th. But they ask us to use what we've learned about powers of 10 to show that the student is incorrect. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's take 0 0.07, and we know that we can write this as 7 hundredths. We can take the decimal and write it as a fraction. And even going a step further than that, using powers of 10, I can rewrite it as 7 over 10 to the second power, because you have 100 is 1 with two zeros, so that's 10 to the second. And I can even take that and rewrite it in scientific notation and rewrite it as 7 times 10 to the negative second power. And then I can go ahead and write 1 tenth as a fraction. And following the similar rule, rewrite that as 1 over 10 to the first power. And then I can write it with scientific notation, which is 1 times 10 to the negative first power. And automatically, you can see that 9, or I'm sorry, you can see that 7 one hundredth has a smaller power of 10. So that means it's closer to 0 and smaller than 0 0.1. So the student is incorrect.